Celestine Masinde wearing the number 11 jersey is uh, one to keep an eye out for. She's the uh, the gas. Catherine Abila takes the uh, Kenyan team out onto this uh, wonderful arena here. The Stade Gabriel Montpellier here in Clermont-Ferrand in France. Well, a prayer being said there from the uh, Kenyan team. There she is. There's the youngster, Lily Durbin. What an excitement there. She's still at school. She's still at high school. Get back and do your exams. But that's the future. Michelle Stevens looks on as well. And, well, one of the playmakers and the all-time great footballers in this uh, USA side is Captain. Alev Kelter. Marie Lemat from France. So the whistle gets us underway. USA in their white jerseys. Kenya in those distinctive green with their red and white shorts as well. So what's the pressure on this uh, young, young Kenyan team to deliver? Of course, they have qualified for the, uh, the Olympics. The tackle comes in Janet Owino. Ball retention. Is good from Kenya. Now, can they string some passes together as uh, Nzuwa to the flying machine on that outside? Okello. Okello up and over the 10 yard line, tackled by Lily Durbin. Masinde was waiting, but there was a penalty coming. She knew that. Yeah, sp speed on speed, wasn't it? And unfortunately, Victoria for the one going over the top of this Kenyan team have had. Good efforts in their Number first two games, even though they've two. been beaten. Go down. Go. Ocino, tap and go. Short ball, then the Ocino, Stacey Ocino this time, takes it into the contact. Good structure here from Kenya. Masinde. Masinde. Well, on the outside is the uh, break by Okello, but Okello bundled in the touch by Potter. In actual fact, it was Farmer who made the tackle. Potter then collected the ball, but Kenya somehow got that ball back through Stacey Ocheno. Owino. Owino. Kelter has her. All possession, though. Stacey Ocheno for this Kenyan team. This is good from Kenya. Cindy came back on the switch, but uh, Janet Okello. All a little bit bunch for Kenya. They want to just stretch it because they do have pace. And pace with Celestine Masinde. But the ball falls in the United States favour. Kelly Griffin goes down in the ball. And there's more width here from this uh, United States team if they can move it to this near side. Kelter steps back in. Well, the ball was delivered, but... Well, unfortunately for the United States, Victoria Falayan couldn't actually connect with that pass. Yeah. Couldn't commit 100% to this line. A little bit confused. He had to do a lot of work on defense as Falayan. Had to do a lot of tackling too, this United States team. So, excuse these girls, their third game to be a little bit tight. Irene Ocino, and they're wearing the number nine jersey for Kenya to the right of your picture this year. So the scrum half, they'll deliver three on three, the forwards, the scrum. All goes back, hoot back, and as simple as that, it pops out. Masinde looking for that switch play on the outside channel with Janet Okello. Janet Okello goes out. Great tackle came in from Victoria Falayan, and Falayan had to be her absolute defensive best to nip. Janet Okello on that wide outside channel. Thumbs up from the supporters, but you're right. Look at that. Just uses her left arm to drag. Now Janet Okello. I like the battle on the edge. Two speedsters. Excuse me. I know it's Just some tough defense here. I think it was Alev Kelter. 
Coming in for the US, just smashes. Masindi. It's okay? Substitution or not? Yeah, Masindi, you. Uh, okay, good. Sean in that Let's opening go. game for Kenya. They played against Spain. Time on. And it was Janet Okello. He got tackled into touch there on that far side. He scored the first ever try for Kenya, their first ever appearance here on a Sevens World Series tournament. Number six offside. Ocheno. Now ball, two hands. Good skill level. Masinde gets the wrap around play here. A oh, little show there from Dorian Zuwa. Zuwa. But slightly got isolated and coming away with the ball is the United States team and Gillian Potter just took her eyes off it but it spilt backwards so it's play on the Lion to Kelter well there's pace out there on the wide outside channels but Kelly Griffin had to go back at the ball look at Griffin though steps back in now has she got the pace to go all the way chasing back there is Irene Otirio Otirio tracks down Griffin so up in support comes Lily Durbin, and Lily Durbin, the 17-year-old, will score a try for the United States, and she'll remember this moment for the rest of her life. The future's bright for Lily Durbin and USA Rugby. <laughs> 17. What were you doing, Carl Tanana, when you were 17? I wasn't running around in France, I'll tell you that. We are second try in Clermont this weekend. Lily Durbin. But a nice run initially from Kelly Griffin from deep within her own half. Look at the way she just slows up play. Waits for a support player and the young lady, Lily Durbin. Yeah, my apologies. She got one against Spain in the previous tie. That time it was uh, when they lost by 10 points to 12. My notes flying around the commentary box. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. My name's Scott Hastings, the uh, match commentator alongside me, former New Zealand Sevens captain, on, Carl Tanana. And we've been well entertained here, Carl, haven't we? In the opening day of the uh, Sevens here in Clermont-Ferrand. Oh, there's been some top quality skills on show and top quality performances. Come and well, this Kenyan team for a debut team, but not out on. of their depth by any stretch of the imagination. For Lyon. Flying for line down that side. Well tackled by this Kenyan team. USA have retained the possession though. Potter. Potter goes for the gap. Kelter in support. And Kelter. Well, there's only one way for Alev Kelter. And Alev Kelter extends the United States lead. They're trying to speed up the play now. They think they've got an advantage with their fitness, Layla. Alev Kelter, she's such a strong runner, low center of gravity when she does run the offload. You see her in support play, a strong left-hand theme, doesn't get much, bit, much better than that. Look at this low center Ladies, of gravity, please. get that in you. Ladies, we're waiting for you, thank you. More quick, please. Oh, some support, United States support in the stands. Surrounded by a few French supporters. Keep on thinking it's five o'clock in the morning when that uh, halftime hooter goes off. The cock a doodle do. <laughs> Gillian Potter takes the ball. Good switch play. Here's Kelter. Just stood up and delivered the pass to Carmen Farmer, but it was a forward pass. And that will bring down the curtain on this opening half. USA lead by 14 points to nil. No. 